hello guys in this video i will talk about how to supply parameter into test ng script right how do you supply the parameter which you have in the xml into the test ng uh, script for that when you write a test you have to write one you know annotations called add parameters so in add parameters if you look at the parenthesis in the curly braces if you are supplying one parameter you have to write you know in double quote you have to write that parameter if you have two parameter you can just write here and you can write let's say uh, data one second parameter so it's up to you how many parameters you want to supply through testng.xml now when you write a parameters and when you are designing a test ng uh, test ng script so here you have add test annotations in this the same name should come here a string data right but there should be some optional data also so at optional default so what happens sometimes when you will not supply uh, through a test ng xml this optional data will get executed so if i run now this let's say if i will print data now and if i run this uh, script basically i will get a default output i will get as a default so if i'll go to the console and if i'll see that i'll get this as a default because test one got executed with the default but what happens is when i create a uh, xml to create the xml just do a right click go to test ng convert to test ng copy this xml from here cancel this right click new file just write parameters in test ng dot xml so just write some xml file name paste it here right oh one second uh parameters where is that right click convert to test ng oh it's not taking the class name that's fine we can add the class name so test name is this inside the test name i can add the classes inside of the classes i can add the class name so again the class name is going to be a uh, package name dot class name so copy the package name from here com come back dot copy the class name here now we are supplying the parameter right so within the test for this test basically uh, angle bracket you have something called parameter write a parameter name so parameter name it should be the same so what name we have data copy the data from here paste it here and value you write test data now if i run this program you know what will happen this test data value will come here and now your outcome should be uh, test data but to do that you have to run this testng.xml so do right click run as testng through testng go to the console and look at that test data is getting printed right let's say you have a multiple set of parameter you can add here itself you can add one more data one you can write test data one and in this parameter you can just write data one and then you have to write at optional is mandatory optional you write default one and you write a string data one and here we can print data one okay so again after comma this is one variable this is another variable for every parameter there should be optional why optional sometimes people will not write into the xml so when they will not write into the xml it will take the default value and it will get executed now just run this when you run through this when you just run through test what will happen is it will not take data from the xml it will take the default data what we have it here and your test script will get executed so uh, if you look at the output it's taking the default data when you just run the test that is the reason also default is important because sometimes i don't want to run through xml i just want to run so it will take the default data 
Now, when I run through XML, right click, go run as testng shoot file. So, this time it will take the data uh, from the XML and it will come as a test data and test data 1. So it is getting executed which we can see it here in the console right so that's how uh, we can supply the parameter from the xml to the test scripts and with this we are done with our test ng framework right now we will start with selenium locator writings in the going forward video thank you guys thank you for watching this